Well, fancy meeting you here again. <laughs> like I said, you'll never have to be alone when I'm here. Yep. As sure as night falls, I too shall come back around. <laughs> yeah, you can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> so, how's your day? Tell me about it. Hmm. Well... Hopefully we're doing better than last time. I'd like to think that I had something to do with that. Well, not all subconscious constructs of your mind are as great as me. Albeit, I'm probably the only sentient one. Well, if I was just your imagination, then how can I touch you like this? And how could you feel it like that? Perhaps it's your brain making that sensation? Or perhaps... I'm real, and it's not in your head at all. Who knows? <laughs> what? It's my job to cause you some existential fear and the comfort of your own bed. That'd be a pretty lousy sleep paralysis demon if all I did was show up here to make you feel less alone. Plus, there's still a lot of questions I need answered. Like, how is it we can touch each other? And... How are you even able to see me while fully awake? Usually you have to be in lucid sleep. That's not something that's happened in... any time that I can recall. <laughs> kind of funny. I come back here to make you feel less lonely and more seen. And at the same time, you make me feel seen too. Just in more of a literal sense, like you can actually see me. There's something special about you. And I just can't place my finger on it. Well, actually, Actually, I can place my finger on it now, since, you know, we can touch and all. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which brings me to my next idea. I thought that maybe tonight we can try something since we're able to interact like this. Here. I want you to... I want you to take my hand, or place your hand on my chest, or just hold me as much as you can. And hold it as tight as you can. Then, close your eyes and fall deeper into sleep than you ever have. I'll be here through it all. And I may be able to show you something pretty amazing if it works. Do you... Do you trust me? I know I'm the shadowy figure who haunts your room every night, but, um... I'm a shadowy figure that cares a lot about your happiness and safety now. Plus, you're like... My only friend. I'm technically a part of your mind that's acting out on its own right now, so... It's pretty hard to have a social life outside of that. <laughs> Here. The more contact we have, the easier it'll be for me to work my magic. 
Just keep hold of me as tight as you possibly can, and then lay back down flat to sleep. I'll wrap myself around you and envelop you in my shadow. That way, all of me is covering all of you. Like a canopy made out of shade itself. There you go. Now, drift back off into sleep. You're not alone. I'm here. And I've got ya. Just let the lull take you back into your own mind. And sleep more calmly. Knowing that I'm here with you. The darkness that is your friend. <laughs> hey, open your eyes. We're here. We're in the place that I wanted to show you. Uh, pretty cool, huh? Where are we? Well, you should know that better than anyone else. This is my home. The place I run back to when daylight comes around. But technically, I'm... I'm just kind of renting it. My landlord, though, they're pretty neat. This place belongs entirely to them. I'm talking about you, Ding Dong. This place? It's your mind. This is the metaphysical place that harbors all of your thoughts and ideas given metaphysical form. Like me. This is where I sort of plopped into existence one day, and I've been retreating back to ever since. Right now, your body is asleep in your bed as normal. But your mind, it's created the simulacrum to experience one of your thoughts with me. Uh, basically... This is like, uh, how would you say it? This is like the backstage to your dreams. This is the place where all your dreams take place. You're just not dreaming at the moment. Well, you are, but you aren't. It's kind of confusing. You're here like me. I've sort of willingly brought you into your own mind. And something very, very few people are able to do, and so... This is, uh... It's kind of like a treat. Uh, you're in the place where you dream. It's just not having a dream at the moment. So, this is what it looks like when all the levers are turned off. Just this... This space where yours truly resides. But, uh, I, I want to try something. This is your mind, and you make the rules here. So anything you think of, this place will adapt and become that. So, it bends to you. Go ahead. Think of something like, uh, the forest, the woods... Think of a clear glade with the most serene grass and trees you can surmise. A nice warm, gentle breeze swaying the landscape. Go on, try it. <laughs> See? It worked. This place becomes whatever you envision. It's your own mind. But that's not all. Now, look at me. Look at this mass of 
black darkness. Now, I want you to imagine me as a man. You can choose however I look like, anything that suits your taste down to the finest details. Make me whoever you want me to be. You have the power because I'm part of your mind. Now, in your eyes, what do you see me as? <laughs> it it worked. I'm I'm not a shade anymore. Uh, tell me, describe me. What do I look like in your mind's eye? Oh, <laughs> that is, uh, <laughs> you have outdone yourself. But the beauty of this place is, it can be whatever you want it to be, whenever you want it to be. And I can be whoever you need me to be. I could be a man in the forest, a king in a castle, a dragon in a hoard of gold, a bartender at a cafe, a police officer on a cold night. The possibilities are endless. This place is only as limited as your imagination. Just change it to be what you need it to be. And this is my gift to you. Spend your nights however you wish, then deal with the reality when you wake. But always know that you can come back here with me to live another dream out every night. So, what dream shall we spend time in tonight? And who shall I be for you? Get creative. I'll play my role as best I can. Anything to make you happier.